In this snip, we'll see how we can add a custom domain in Office 365 by using PowerShell. So on the left side, I have my PowerShell commandlets, and on the right side, I have my Office 365 tenant, so we can see what's happening. And just to prove that I have no custom domain in my tenant, I'm gonna go to Setup, Domains, and you can see that I have no custom domain in here. Back to the script, the first thing we need to do is connect to the MSOL service. Then we need to get our tenant ID. And to get your tenant ID, you can do that with PowerShell. So you would connect with the Azure AD module, or you can also go through the Azure AD portal. So from Office 365, expand the Admin Centers menu and click on Azure Active Directory. Click on Azure Active Directory, and under Manage, click on Properties. The directory ID is your tenant ID. So grab it and put it in your script. Once we have the tenant ID, store it in a variable. Now we need to create the domain in Azure AD. Use the new MSOL domain commandlet, use the tenant ID parameter, and for the name, enter the fully qualified domain name. Below you can see that the status at this point in time is unverified. Let's refresh the Office 365 page, and the domain is there. Now we need to get some information from Microsoft. And to verify the domain, we need a TXT. And by running the get MSOL domain verification DNS, we'll get this TXT value that we need to enter in our registrar. The value that we actually need is under label. We're gonna use the MS512 and so on without the domain at the end. So just grab the MS and the numbers. So my domain is registered with GoDaddy, but depending on your own registrar, you would need to add a TXT type record with a value of MS and your own numbers, and also enter the TTL or time to leave to one hour. After a few minutes, depending on your registrar, we can run an NS lookup to see if the TXT has been confirmed. And that worked great. Now let's prove to Microsoft that we are owning the domain. Run the confirm MSOL domain with your tenant ID and your domain name and observe the results that says that the domain has been successfully verified for your account. And the last step will be to see what is the status of the domain now. Run the get MSOL domain and the status has now changed. It is now verified. I'm going to refresh the Office 365 page, but this should not change. The domain has been added successfully, but even if you see setup in progress, still, this is because I've only verified the domain. I haven't configured this domain for my email addresses, for instance. So this is how you can add a custom domain in Office 365 using PowerShell. Thank you for watching.